said what I do, but I'm damn good, and I'm a comedian, so you can't really take what I say serious or literally. But I'm trying to give you this my perspective on stuff without being, you know, jackass. So just, just put it like that. Now, I might make this video twice, and this is the YouTube version, you got the Rumble version, but actually, you know, I'm going to just try to, you know, play every aspect on this and see how this turns out. So, so anyway, what's going on, um, this is a video is about some twins. And I'm not talking about them island boys, but maybe I am talking about island boys. This, this shit is mind-boggling. This popped up in my news feed, so I'm like, all right, I'm, what? And then, let's react. Holy shit. Transgender me, you were born male. Yes, yes. We, we prefer, prefer female. female. We're, we're female. female. Her, 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 and her. Don't get it right. Don't get it wrong. Okay. All right. <laughs> How long have you guys been transgender? So, so I've been transgender for, I was transgender, I started in ninth grade. And so I've been probably like. Gender twins. Can't make this shit up. Can't make this shit Boy. Okay. About seven years. Yeah, about six, seven years. Yeah, about six, seven years now. Okay, so... Yeah, six years. Six years. Let me ask this question for people who may not know. Okay. So... Shut up, Shut up, Shut up. Transgender and just being a gay male. Transgender is more so of like the hormonal type, the everyday lifestyle, waking up feeling like a woman, hair, when you go out, makeup, nails, feet done. Being a gay male is more so even a cross dresser that just dresses up in girl clothes one minute and then the next day he's just been a male. We don't play that shit. No, not the fuck at all. No. Okay, so do you consider yourself gay? No, I'm a woman. A woman. 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 That's pussy. Woman. 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 So you said that ninth grade was the age that you decided to Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you were born male. Yeah. Okay. 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 Living as a gay male, or were you living as a straight male? So we was living as a, I was living as a cross dresser. Like I would dress as a girl, but I take my clothes off and dress back to a boy. That's a cross dresser to me. Okay, and that was at ninth grade, would be like fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, about fifteen years old. Yeah, about fifteen. Yeah. So is that the age that you decided to live in your truth, or I mean, did you try to feel this way your whole life, like you were born? It's just something that you just decided to do once you came up a certain age. Damn, girl, you get a person. But we're not here. Okay, so, okay, okay, so, so let, me let me break it down, down to you. you. I know, you know, we twins, twins so, so we can, can feel each, each other, emotions and every fucking thing. thing. If the, the bitch, bitch can get to the point, I'm there. So let's just talk about it. So I would say, I knew that this bitch was gay. And I knew this bitch was gay. She had girlfriends in school and all, but I still knew it. So, so I would, I would say, say more so six, six seven, eight, we was always around females. I was like was always around females, so I felt it. I never liked to be with the guys. And I know she didn't like to be with the guys. And we were always see like I would always say to myself, damn, you look good. But I was always confused about the shit. It's a sixth grade. Then seventh and eighth, after the whole damn school question, our sexuality it was like, okay, we turn it Let's give a breakdown, because my started in motherfucking first grade with the boy from my motherfucking hood. Oh, Purdy. Yeah. I had a girlfriend and I was with him. So I was a player, bitch. I was a bitch. I was a player, bitch. I was a player, bitch. Yeah, so um, it started when I was in first grade. I was dating this guy and I had a girlfriend and a guy and he had like a basket. And he was like, this is baby. And like, he like, threw me down. I was like, damn, nigga, I think I like this shit. Yeah. So I thought I was just a bitch, so like, when it was like recess and shit, I gotta hide and shit. Like, when I'm with him, I gotta hide. When I'm with her, I'm like, fuck. So it started from when I was like, like, first grade. 
Like, like I, I knew this shit. shit. Like, like I used to do everything, like curry my fucking bags, like this and shit, walking down the fucking street. street. So. so, okay. So basically, you just knew your whole life. Yes. 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 So, okay. Um, next question. Who was the first to come out as being gay? Me. I was, I was the, the, yeah, yeah, I was, I was the, the fucking first one that came out like, like bitches and me. And this like, was in Yes, yes, no, no okay, okay, so we, we both, both was transgenders in ninth grade, grade, but I came out as, like, to my family because they didn't know when, when I was, like, in, like, third, no, when I was, like, fourth grade, grade, I had came out to my family, as I was gay, a gay male, but, but I was still hiding it to, like, other people, like, the world who, you know, really didn't know. Yeah. So how did your family feel when you came out to them? Oh, them bitches discriminate. Oh, them bitches discriminate. I should have got a apartment off them bitches. Yes. So, this is about to get high and heavy. Oh, God. So, we, uh, it's questions I don't even want to answer. I don't even want to ask the question. I don't even want to say. Look, they, they speak from, from their heart, speaking their truth. Let them speak their truth. Excuse me, girls. I think it was just more so mad of because it was like, Maybe they was probably gay, and they was probably scared to come out. But my dad, my dad said that his friends said out of the twins, one of the twins gonna be gay. Like when we was young, my dad told me that. Like when we was like a couple of months, my dad told me that his friends said that. Like my friends like out of one of the twins, your twins gonna be gay. And then my dad was like, no, they not. That bitch for the curse. The bitch for the curse. So for the bitch for the curse. We got to find that bitch. As, as, as a grown man, man, you know, having having, having your, your son or a set of sons, sons it's like it's like an honor, honor, you know. You gotta, you, gotta, you passing on your longevity, you know. You passing on you, your genes, you know, your future, you know, your legacy. Uh, but uh, be lucky enough to have twins, and then they both come out with the sprinkle sprinkle thing or whatever they say. I don't know. I don't know that, man. I guarantee you, by the time they, they, they dad was 25, he had a head full of gray hair. Like this shit. <laughs> wow. Y'all are, y'all are so good. Like, so, okay, so you guys pretty much both decided to live this lifestyle. Would you say that one twin had more influence on the other twin to be that way? Or... Did you guys both just feel that way? One just had more nerve. Okay. What I think more so of is more so that she was always out, the most extra one and everything. So I was kind of like scared to hide what that I wanted to be out because I wanted to be like she so bad because she came out first and she was so comfortable. That that one was scared and I was like, okay, that was like, damn, they didn't judge me too because she going through it. So then I ended up coming out with her so we both could go through this shit together. I was like, bitch, could you go be in that box by yourself? Bitch, I'm off the box. So how did you guys, since you guys came out together, how did you handle the scrutiny and the bullying and the things that came along with coming out? So like, describe a day to day walking in the hallways of the night. Bag it! Bag it! You gay! Bag it! Yeah, the first day you walk in the hallway. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Okay, look, okay. See, all right, this is why I gotta come in and say something. If you wanna do, look, you can identify whoever you want, however you want, whatever, but you can't get mad at somebody from calling you your government name. And then you get an attitude because they're not calling you. 
the name lit up, up like, like um at, at this, this point, point i don't, I don't know, know if that's a sex change, change or not um i don't know no, no, no yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever. whatever but, but you're a guy. guy. I mean, it's, come on. You, you can identify, identify who you want, want but when it comes down, down to it, this is called a spade, spade, spade. These, These two. It's one of them subjects. subjects. Boy, oh boy. You're going to get through it. But anyone wants to get through it, I see how the world is. I am in that because somebody wants to live their lifestyle, you want to come off at them different because that's just how we choose to live. I'm like, damn, should I sit right here in this seat by him or what? Bitch, he might say something to you. You're going to be praying like, like, <laughs> like a motherfucker in this classroom. So, okay. So, what age do you think that you both have your first male-male sexual encounter? Like, what age did you guys... I, well, what age did you guys lose your virginity? How about that? And was it to a woman or was it to a man? Probably when I was three. Say so, that. Yeah. I probably lost my, like, honestly, when I was maybe in the fifth or sixth grade, like, around that time for yeah. Mm-hmm. Was it, it was a male. It was a male. It was a male. Hold oh. on. This. What? So, so girl. She fucked me real good. And <laughs> she was getting, say, she got fucked in the sixth grade. What? Like, I was like, okay, I'm the bitch, and I like this shit. Fifth grade, how old Like, I don't know, we was young, yeah. fuck. We probably was like, what, eight, seven, six? Yeah. Five, what I thought. So was this guy yeah. the same age as you? But you just couldn't be he, he, he was like a little older. What's a little older? Like, he was like, what, 19 or 20. He was like 19. Whoa! Whoa! You was 10? Basically 7? Doing anal sex with a 19 year old. Whoa, holy shit. Where was this guy at? This is what they need in their life. Remember this show? Ah. Yes. But I mean, I liked him and stuff like that, so. More so, she was lying about her age. That's what it was. Yeah, I was lying about her age. Hold on. You can't lie about your age. This, 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 this is where all this shit gets extremely confusing to me. What the fuck? Let's let's get into this. So, basically, you are telling me that at the age of seven, you are molested by a man. I mean, I'm not going to say molested. That's what it is. Because, I mean, I wanted to talk to him, and I was lying about my age. How did you meet this person? Um... One day, like, I was walking home, and he was, like, behind me. And, like, we was just, like, talking, and I just, you know, of course, I was gay as shit. Like, you know, switching, doing all the same and third. This, this has got to be every parent's worst nightmare. This shit, this shit right here. This is so fucked up on so many levels. I mean, I, I'm not even certified trained or nothing. I'm just giving my opinion on this. You know, most people's opinions is wrong. Opinions is just opinion. But this is truly fucked up. So, little kid walking down the street. This, this play it back. I, I'm gonna want to get this video kicked off of YouTube. But wow. And I was like, you're so handsome. Like basically, like flirting with him. Like you're so handsome, and you know this thing and third. And then I start asking, like, would you ever talk to like, like, have you ever dealt with like a gay person and stuff like that? And then he was like. Um, no, I never, but I would like to try. And he was like, how old are you? And I was like, oh, I'm 14. I was like, how old is you? He was like, I'm 19. He was like, he was 19 or 20, I can't remember. But he was like, um, I would like to try. And so that's when we had, like, went, like, behind my house. And it was, like, woods, like, back there. And not, like, in the woods, but we, like, had sex. I kind of liked it. At seven years old. Yeah. Does your mom know this? No, that's not her business to know. Does right. everybody know this? Period. That's it. But when I got with a man, it was like something about the man that was just like, 
the way they say they're fucking different. Like, I ain't even gonna, I even fucked the bitch when I was in high school. Like, in my next door neighbor house. Like, real shit. <laughs> yeah, no, real yeah, shit. Yeah, no, shit. shit. Bitch, I was walking on my fucking house. You told me. You thought you got the I bitch pregnant. That bitch. I thought I had that bitch pregnant. She's like, don't nut at me. And I'm still nutting in the bitch. But I was like, after that, I got up. I was like, okay, I got tracks on. I got nails. I feel so fucking weird. Like, now I feel gay. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, I wanted to knock that bitch teeth out. The bitch was a freak, too. She's like, can I... A, a therapist needs to sit back and really break this shit down. This is all a type of fucked up. This is my opinion. I'm not the trained person in it. It's not my lifestyle. But I think people, a lot of stuff about this is extremely fucked up. Troublesome, at least. <laughs> wow. What the fuck is going... This is not a skit. This is they, hey, they got it on YouTube. Check out their page. You can find their names. I'm just reacting to the video because I was like, shit. Holy. I sit on you. I was like, bitch, what? Like, lay down on your back, bitch. Yes. But it was weird. Oh, my God. So, we're going to talk a little bit about you dating life. Okay. Of course. Okay. So, you did touch If I would, I had to be off some meds. Or a check has to be involved. A bitch can get my motherfucking shit hard. And that's it. But no, seriously, I have dated when I was high in my sexuality, I was dating women. Like I had like two girls. Of course I tear. You dumb bitch! I was dating I was dating another girl too. I was dating Like I said, this ain't my lifestyle. I could be wrong, but I think these two right here is single-handedly putting a black eye on the LGBTQ community. This, I, somebody's about to like to tone in and, you know, chime in and say something in the comments, but this shit is bad shit crazy. As a heterosexual guy, you know, I heard stories over the years, you know, even now social media is more prevalent. And there is a lot, you know, it's always like you, you see these crime drama shows or actual news shows. It's like a guy always get caught with a tranny then something happens. And the, the reason why I think that happens because the guys, 95% of the time that deals with the, the TAs, is more likely into them. And when they get outed, and that's when they go, oh, no, I got duped, I got hoodwinked. But when you listen to the, the TA, what they got to say, you look at their text messages and stuff like that, it's always a different story from what the guy say, oh, I didn't know. And they tell them, yeah, you did. You know, they, they got stuff that contradicts stuff most of the time with this person's sake. 
Yeah. It's some crazy yeah. shit. I, okay, what so the hell I'm watching? watching. And we talking, I might wait a couple of days, you know, to tell him that I'm a transsexual. And if I meet him online, I probably won't tell him for like a year. What? Because I'm just talking to him because... I'm not, I gotta see how his personality is because that's none of his fucking business for real. Well, I mean, like, but I don't wait up with him until I tell him, but I wait a long time to tell him because sometimes we don't even last to talking because his ass can't keep a fucking conversation and I hate a little weak bitch like that. So, okay. So, yeah, toxic transsexual. Yeah. Twin toxic transsexual. Triple T's. <laughs> actually stay with you after they find out that you're not actually a woman. Oh, nah, shit. Nah, 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 times nah, nah, you live. Nah, 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 Stay with me. Look, just like when they say you beautiful, you everything in a woman. You soft, look like a woman. Sex feel great. Yes. Well, what? technically she hadn't had sex with them yet. Right. So, did you guys ever have sex with somebody before revealing that you were trans and they didn't know? Yes! I yes! I did! I she okay. did a later. So, I t- okay, so oh, I'm like, okay, okay, shit. okay, I'm gonna tell you. So, what I do is, you keep your shit in the front. And you just like, you, I tell him, you know, I'm on my period and stuff like that. And I'm like, and he's like, damn, I really want to, you know, fuck. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's fuck. I'm like, just fuck me in my butthole, I'm on my period. And he'd be like, okay, so he'll put the condom on. I'll pull my pants midway. Halfway. Yeah. And just let him fuck me. He'd just be moaning. And I'd just be like, you like that? He'd be like, yeah. And then, so I did it first. And then I was like, stop, you should try to do it. Oh. And that's what she tried. What? <laughs> And I, and I, I said I would twice. never do it again. And I did it twice, and I said I felt really horrible about it. And I just, I just kept did talking. Did you ever tell the guys that you were really men? Are they, they no. still no. right now um, thinking that you're women? Yeah, they think I'm a woman. Oh, sh- okay. See, this, that shit. Okay, this, that toxic shit I was talking about. This right here is really dangerous. Ugh, yeah, God damn, I can't even say that because nine times out of ten, the dude that's doing it know what he's dealing with. He don't got a problem when he get caught. Now, second thing, what else they really did? Gaslight a catfish and dude and trick a dude into that. He's gonna be pissed and this on that. They saw they laughing. This shit misled. Uh, boy, this this shit. And you see why I decided to react to this video? This shit is crazy. Your reaction is gonna be when you tell when they after this comes out. And they the nigga probably fucking yeah. probably, he, he probably, probably already. I already know he, he probably, probably. I don't know. He was hot as a motherfucker. guy. So you guys still have your penises, you still get an erection, so how do you hide that erection when you're having, like, when you're doing that? Keep your shit in the front. You're just keeping it just, well, so, if you, if you got it, like, tucked, like, mine be tucked, so, if, like, I be squeezing it real tight, but you can barely see it, because my pants is midway, the lights is off, it's dark. Yes. And he just, you know, I'll make sure the shit dark. So, are you guys currently talking to anybody right now? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, everyone in my phone knows. Absolutely, I'm talking. I'm having conversations. You know, text. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, like, yes. yeah, I'm proud of bitch. It. I know, cause it's so, not their business to fucking know. That's that's, sure. that's the one. The one. Let's see. Because that one over there. That one. 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 That I'm seeing, like actually seeing. So you have you're in a relationship. Not in a relationship. I'm just seeing a couple of dudes. See how I go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> see how go. See how go. See how go. Okay. Okay. See how make me so. So right now I'm so you can see yourself <laughs> transgender, but have you guys gone through any steps to try to change yourself other than the hair and the makeup and the clothing? Yes. To change yourself to, oh, like, as far as, like, any surgeries or anything along the lines of that? Bitch, I don't think I'd be sitting right here in this motherfucking chair if I wasn't. Yes. Surgery is, I have actually have a meeting on the 11th to talk to the surgeon what? about my consultation. Then we'll definitely be scheduling an appointment three weeks after that. And I'm so excited. And I also go to name changing on the 11th. 
I'm so excited. So I'm in the process of getting that shit done, <laughs> but it will be done. So hmm. what surgery are you talking about? Are you talking about the removal of the breast? Breast. But I want I want to get my I want to get my pussy done. But what? I do want to have hold a child, but I'm a bitch. I like I want to do it the other. way. Not seeing shows and her stories and whatever in real life, seeing dudes that take the pills or whatever they do, hormones. So they don't got breasts yet. And they still got. Oh, these are 100% dudes. Oh, oh my god. Shit. Yeah, I'm not saying Fellas, be warned. Watch out. Way, but, like, so, so I'm just trying to wait for something. What's the other way? The surrogate. Like the surrogate. Or they yeah. freeze your sperm so like a free time. You want to have a surrogate. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have sex with a woman. No. You just want to impregnate. Yes. Yes. Inject. Inject my shit up into the little bitch. Excuse me, girl. I think I can do it if the bitch put on a mask and turn around. If the bitch turn around and put on a mask, I can do it. Now, if that bitch take that mask off, my shit fall out. I might knock the bitch out. No. I ain't with that. She ain't gay. I'm straight. 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 I'm Oh, my damn weed at, man. This shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. so what? Come on, folks. Don't grab me a goddamn blunt. This shit. I don't have time for this shit, man. What the my fuck? These motherfuckers tripping. Okay, and you're going to change your name to... The fuck? Win. Yeah. And now it's going to be Michelle Jewel Win. Michelle Jewel Win. I haven't thought about that name yet. So where did you guys get these names? And how long have you had these so, names? So, oh, my God. So I used to have, like, a fake Facebook. And I seen these and this girl like I just seen this girl like name and stuff and her name was like um look it was like lay something but it had a like a M like it had like a like a little M in it or something. A M. And so I was like and I was just like practicing there, I was like Michaela, Malayla. I think her name was like Malayla or something like that. I was like Michaela, Malayla. Crazy Michaela. shit, man. Crazy Bitch, shit. Bitch, I like Michaela. That's my motherfucking name. Boom. And I got, I'm more so got my name of, just out of the air. I was just like, star. I was just playing around with names. You know, you can stop playing around names. Do you want to be star? Do you want to be Jasmine? I was trying to think of a, a name that nobody would really have. So Jasmine, Kayla. Yeah. I was more like that too. I don't want to be like, I just want to be on name. Because every time I tell men, people my name, they be like, oh my God, it matched your face. Like, you're so pretty. I never heard that name before. Your name is unique. I like that shit. So what does your mother call you? You hoes don't still. Um... It, just, she, it, it depends. So sometimes she might call us our real name, but most of the time, like definitely, if we got like some like men over, like our friends or like men that we chilling with, she makes sure she say she, her, her, because I told her I'm getting an apartment off her ass if she keep playing. You keep saying that. What does that mean? It means I'm gonna tell the people. I'm gonna go to court. I'm gonna take her to court. Call the police. Get it. Uh, found some shit with her and tell her that I feel sexually assaulted. Um, I'm going through shit. I'm going through mental shit. I need to go see help. I need every motherfucking thing. Probably is. Just for her doing it. More so, they get an apartment. You get an apartment off somebody. Yeah, did self accountability. Uh, some mental issues. Yeah, going through some shit. Y'all, y'all so fucked up. All right, God damn, sirs. She said it. Why is somebody disrespecting you for your gender? For your gender. Uh, that's a, that's hate. That's yeah. a hate crime. So far as going to jail, I'm getting a apartment. However, However, far as getting an apartment, she has to uh, like touch her physically. I'm gonna say she hit me. Oh, trust me, I'm gonna say she hit me. And what I'm gonna just say, mom, hit me real quick. Touch my neck. Let me see some shit. You know, feeling got her ass. Boom, there it is. Call the police. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Yeah, we're going to do a check right quick. Um, what's going to look better? Y'all, if you even thought about that, yeah, you 10% gay. For all the fellas that's watching. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That bitch. I'm the biggest bitch. Why is she the biggest bitch? That bitch is nasty and sassy. If, if it's no, if she's not, not her way, then there's no way. But the bitch got me fucked up because I'm the older twin. I came out one minute before this hoe. It was me. I'm the biggest bitch. Who's the biggest whore? 
Her, she get the award. It's like I she fucked about award. almost a hundred men. Yeah. But they all had condoms, so it doesn't matter. Who's the sweetest? Star is like the, uh, the sweetest of all bit. I am. I'm the sweetest. This bitch sneaky. No, you sneaky. No, this bitch sneaky. No, bitch, you're sneaky. She's so sneaky. is it like the good twin and the bad twin? Yes. yes. No, I only bad bad when shit when shit comes down to the fucking fan and boys are hit the fucking fan. That's when I go bananas. So if somebody had to wear the halo and somebody had to wear the devil ears, who would it be? I would have had I'll the halo. I'll take the, the devil ears. I'm the bitch anyway. So that I'm that bitch anyway. Uh, I'll take the devil ears. Boom, boom, Who's boom. Most fashionable? Mm, it's kind of like as them. looking like as looking for outfits and stuff because we both dress alike. So it's looking for outfits. Like who's the most fashionable? Star like the star. I'm gonna I'm gonna say star for us like that. Cause I like wearing like slutty clothes, yeah. like stuff to show my ass. Yeah. And make my ass but look clumped up. But skinny girl. But now we get to a point far as we can just like. Oh, yeah, skinny girl. Yeah. So you know we could do that. And, yeah, See, she's been a bit. You both want to get your breasts done. Yeah, I did. I want to get penis oh. Um, it's in question, but right now, I really just want to just focus on up here and just leave this alone right now. You know, just kind of. I want to do both. Like I want this shit to go, but I want a child on my own. Like I want a baby that my. I mean, I don't have a problem with adopting a baby and stuff like Is that. That, 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 that really that bad? Men want to get rid of their so penis, now? So like us with the penis, of course. I mean, they want a pussy. If they want a pussy, they go to a real bitch. But obviously, they want a trans woman with titties. And but that's titties. not true all the time because you know what I'm saying. Like you know, Sweet. they be like, they be like, they, you, look so, <laughs> you look so fucking good. You know, and there's a fucking woman. They just want you right there and there. They don't give a fuck. You got a dick, pussy, or what? You know what I'm saying? Because you look so fucking like it's like damn. Yeah, they you look so, so much fucking good too. So do you think that trans women should have their own gender category? Like, like how you have you have a male, you have a female, and then you have a transgender. So do you think that that should be something that's implemented, like a chick with a dick? Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so I think so, but then you still have to go back to the world about discrimination. You do a job application and say female, male, female, transgender, they will cut the transgender out. Like, oh no, we don't want to hire them. Versus you go in and I think it should be female, 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 female. Well, now on job applications, they have, you, you don't have to state your gender. Yeah. You can you don't. don't want to state your gender. Like, you can say other, or you can say female, or you can say not applicable. Right. You know, so, like, with the world changing, do you think that people are more accepting of trans and your lifestyle now in comparison to when you guys were teenagers in high just school? A, just a penny. Yeah, just a penny. I don't believe in a penny could just drop on the floor and it's a penny. Look. Shit, okay, I'll say this. Uh, I don't think, look, if they want to be trans, cool, do that. I don't think they should be discriminating in no job, no workforce. That, that's going to be honest, you know. That, you know, equal rights, you know, whatever. Okay, cool. But, I mean, look, this one's going to keep it like this, you Identify as male, you identify as female. I mean, you can say, hey, I'm this, you know, I'm human, but I can say I identify as a fucking lion, king of the jungle, but don't mean I'm about to go chase a fucking hyena because I think I'm a goddamn lion. Uh, you know how that's going to end up? Times we live. Yeah, also, jobs now, though, I can't lie. They will hire. You know, they will hire you if they see that you want to work. If they see that trans woman want to work and gays want to work, they'll hire you. But it's also. But I feel like if some of them ugly, they ain't going to hire them. Yeah, if they come in and look at I know a couple who did get hired. And I was like, bitch, I know the reason, but they shouldn't do that. Crazy shit. (laughs) (laughs) Bitch, you should have touched that. No, you should have touched up, bitch. But no, they shouldn't do that. That's wrong as fuck. They want some money so they can help their fucking self out. Right. Come on, I don't mind helping them, but bitch, damn. Fuck. Lighter. So, yeah. Train. Grind it. Rap. Okay, so what should the world expect from the women's friends? What are, like, what, what do you want to, what do you want to, five years from now, 
where you see yourself starting? Um, I would say I see myself maybe on reality TV, um, doing a lot of club, um, hostings, modeling. Um, I see me, girl. I see my motherfucking self in Hollywood, okay? In a big ass house. Acting and movies. Oh my god, I want to be in Tyler Perry movies. I want to be in like so many fucking movies. Like, you know, I want to tell Perry. Jump fucking call. Just look at her for sure to write this shit out, you know, man. I ain't lying. $3 million dollar motherfucking house. Six door car. All that. Six door truck. Bitch, all that. 12 door garage. Bitch, 20. Fuck that. My six door car is going out. And my, oh, and my pet. My pet won't have a garage. Is your pet going to have a car still? Yes. I give my pet a car. What kind? I'm a comedian, so I can say what I want. Don't take me so literal, but I'm trying to be serious a little bit. And these are the haters' tears. Drink them out. Okay, let's recap this real quick. Uh, woo, tricking dudes. Whoa. They admitted to tricking dudes, but I don't think they really trick dudes, to be honest with you. Most of them dudes know what they was getting into. They ain't even tricking them. They just want to play them little mental games. Like the one said, she would tell the dude, or she, he, she, I don't know, I don't fucking, oh, God. Look, um, she will tell, he, tell a guy, and I don't even know what the fuck, you know, see, this, see, this the shit right here. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Man. Okay, where we at? I lost track. Um, yeah. <laughs> he said, like, dudes come up to him, 99.9% of them, 95% somewhere in that, in, in that ballpark, <laughs> literally. <laughs> uh, he said, hey, I'm a tranny. They say so. So, like I said, and, like, look at other people's podcasts, and this became real popular lately. You know, having these uncomfortable conversations or whatnot. And when it comes down to, like, like all that dude stuff about, like, I was watching the first 48, you know, the first 48 on the show about, and dude was trying to say, oh, I didn't know this and that, that, that. So they were, well, so this is how you react, you flip out. But when it comes out to it, he was about to out him, not out like that. The other guy did, but he's about to, um, you know, at the school, was about to tell everybody, like, blah, 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 we've been messing around, blah, 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 and that's why he, you know, did that shit, so, it's, it's crazy, like, you hear stories, like, you can Google stories like this all the time, you know, hey, look, I'm just gotta be on every angle, I'm like, you know, like, I'm just coming here trying to tap one way, but you gotta really be into it, no, you don't wanna be into it, shit, ah, oh, fuck. Just Google the, the news stories, and then when you really start looking at the background, like all these dudes talk about they've been tricked and duped. You've been duped for six months. Like what's what's it like? How 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 do you how do you sleep in the same bed with somebody dozens of times and you don't know y'all the same? As a heterosexual guy. I'm gonna be honest with you. First chance a girl come over my house, if she's sleeping, especially if she's sleeping in my bed. First of all, why are you sleeping in my bed? I'm a grown ass man. You sleeping in my bed? Uh, I'll find out what's all there immediately. Like, how do you? Hey, 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 Charlie. What up, Chuck? Hey, Charlie. Hey, Chuck. You know both y'all got penis. Oh no, never knew that. I was duped. But hold on, don't y'all sleep in the same bed? So you ain't never try. Oh no, that's, that's my friend. I didn't trust her like that. Her? Okay, y'all be on. That's that's that's, that's the lie they want to kick it. So you know, you say something like, "Hey, I can be wrong." People take offense. Some say, "I really don't give a fuck." Everybody got their own opinion. Don't care us. But you know, I got it for the TAs. I'm calling the TAs. I'm telling one thing. At least they honest about. They ain't do for nobody. People know what it is. See, so now, you know, everybody coming out, everybody want to do this, you know, I'm done by shit right now so crazy. You don't even know no more. It's just like, what the fuck, you know? But you got to, look, you can, you can agree with some stuff they said. You can agree with some stuff, disagree with some stuff they said. Okay, I get it. 
But you know, this uh, man, this, this shit had me just blown back. I'm sitting back here like, fuck, what the fuck? But the crazy like, I was walking down the street. He walked up behind me. We went. I'm like, and and the narrator uh, saying the M word. The song, I'm like, so you, what does it, hey, look, hey, what the fuck? So, so, the twin that was on the left, will be on the video, will be on the right, that said that happened to him, and I liked it, enjoyed it. Okay, so, 10, 15 years now, he can come back and be like, oh, I was assaulted back then when I was little, blah, 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 all this, you know, like, this, man, this shit, man, this shit crazy. Man, I don't, man, I don't think I'm done with videos for the day. This shit, hey, hey, like the video, subscribe, uh, watch what you say in the comments. I mean, go in, I don't really don't care about it. I'm just trying not to get YouTube to flag it too much. It's probably going to block me anyway, but I don't know. All right, till next time, you know. Peace.